it's been said over and over again that this act would allow people to vote easily and without hassle. The right to vote is so basic in our great nation. If you recall, in 1866, Frederick Douglass, along with several black leaders, met with President Andrew Johnson to advocate for black citizen voting rights, which, Johnson, which President Johnson flatly said, no, that's not going to happen. So many others have fought and died for the right to vote. Now we have a different challenge in our hands. The wait in long lines for hours. Miss Victor stood right outside this building for many hours and of course her determination at the age of one or two, she was not discouraged by the long lines and wait time for several hours. After being noticed, she was told that she needed to come back in order to accommodate her. She came back and she cast a vote for the great president of the United States of America. When we hear stories of her determination, when we have heard what happened in the state of Florida, when we are inspired to make that change, to preserve that right. Senator Brennan, thank you so much for taking the leadership to preserve that right. They are stories, not only in the state of Florida, but throughout the country that voters have faced challenges to cast their vote. Well, today, it is our belief that this Dissilene Free and Fair Democracy Act will eliminate those challenges. 